Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn different ways to run the playwright test. So let's begin. There are multiple ways to run the playwright test. First, we will see what are those ways and then we will see them practically. So we have multiple ways. For example, if you want to run all of your tests, then you will be using the command called npx playwright test. If you want to run a single test, simply you will be writing a command npx playwright test and you need to provide the name of the test and if you run a set of test files then you need to write a command npx playwright test name of test 1 test 2 and so on then if you run a specific files containing the specific words then you will be using npx playwright test and word so here word is basically the name of your test file then we have another way to run your test script running the test with a title so title means the title of your test and the command is npx playwright test dash g and the title of your test in double quotes then if you run your test in your headed mode then the command would be npx playwright test then name of the test then double dash and then followed by a keyword called headed and if you want to run your test on a specific project or the browser then the your command will be npx playwright test name of the test then dash dash project equals to chromium in the example here now we will go to the visual studio code and see these commands one by one now let's see our first command practically and the first command is to execute all the tests. So the command is npx playwright test and let me go to the Visual Studio code here in the terminal. We will be writing this command npx playwright test. But before executing this one, let me show you the playwright config file because this is very important here. When we installed the playwright, it asks for the browsers to be installed. So in Playwright, they are known as projects and you see that it's Chromium, Firefox and this WebKit. So when I start executing all the tests, it will start all the tests on all the three different browsers here and it will execute all the tests. So if I go to this example.spac.js, it contains two tests, one, two, and this contains one test and this contains one test. So total there are four tests. Four tests will be executed on three different browsers. So 12 tests will be actually be executed here. So let me start this one here and see what happens. So you see that running 12 tests using the four workers and it will be executing on the Chromium, Firefox and the WebKit. And once it will be done, we will get the report here and it start executing now it's executing on the webkit and you see that all of our tests now got executed 12 12 tests are passed and the command is npx playwright show report to show the report so let's see the report here npx and this is a command line execution you won't see a browser opening itself right so simply this command and it will open a browser and here you see that all 12 tests and here chromium chromium firefox firefox webkit webkit chromium firefox webkit and each of these details are present here in this particular report now let's go to our second command if we want to run a single test then we can use a command npx playwright test and name of the test here so simply uh, here what we need to do is that press ctrl c then y and here now we need single test to be executed and px playwright test and the name of the test so i'm giving a name here as orange hrm underscore title dot spec dot js and press enter now it will execute a single test and three workers are working here 
and there would be a total three test one is on chromium one is on the firefox and the last one is on the webkit so it's executing right now and just wait for its execution and the execution is done so i'm executing the same show report command here and the new report is open and here you see that only the specific test got executed on the three different browsers here okay now the third option is that if we want to run a set of different files not all of the tests but a set of limited tests so npx the test the test one and test two so go back to the studio code here and press ctrl c then y and here npx play write test and tests are under test slash orange hrm underscore title title and the second one is basically tests is under the test folder so simply go here and we will see that as tests and here same command will be used tests brackets orange hrm underscore url and press enter so it will execute those tests here and see what happens it actually executed only the one test the reason is that we haven't provided the full path for the second test here so it's basically here is test now press enter now you see that it's running the six tests here using four workers and again each test on the three different browsers and once it will be executed we will have the similar report here so just wait for its execution and we will see the results and again uh, we will be using the same command here to show the report here and here you see that these two tests got executed only and on three different browsers now uh, what we need to do is that again uh, press ctrl and c y and enter and now let's move towards the next way to execute our test so running the test file that contains the specific words so or hrm underscore title is a specific file name so the command is basically npx playwright test and the word so npx playwright test and the word orange hrm underscore title and that's it and press enter so you see that it's executing the one test and it is executing on the three different browsers and it will be executed just by providing the name here and now uh, let me open the report here and you will see that our test got executed and it got executed on again the three different browsers now the other way is to run our test using a title of the test and here the command is npx playwright test minus g and the title in double quotes here so go back here press ctrl c then y and now npx a right test minus g and in double quotes we need to provide the title of the test so here i am giving this title this is the title we provided for this test and here let me provide this one here and press enter so now playwright will execute this test on the three different browsers and you see that validate or enter website url and this specific test got executed on the three different browsers just wait for its execution and see the report as well 
so it's executing one by one and it's now executing on the webkit and all these executions are basically done on the command line and they are not opening the actual browser for opening the actual browser we will see how we can do it so one test was failed no problem we will look into this one and the report is open here automatically because this time it got failed and you see this particular test got executed and if i click on this the test timeout exceeded unable to open this website and we got some details here in this particular results here now if we want to run these tests on the headed mode for example if we want to execute these on the actual browser opening this website and performing the test uh, so for this one we will be using this command with the keyword called headed so for example uh, if i go here and control c y and if i go with the, this previous command and if i just add headed here so now what happens is that this single test will execute it in a headed mode on three different browsers now you will see a three different browser opening in front of you you see that three different browsers opening and it is opening the website or nhrm dot com and executing our test so headed command can be used with any of the above methods here so if you want so we have learned all these methods so you can use dash headed with any of these here and similarly now if we want to run this on particular browser so we will be using this approach npx playwright test then the name of the test and the that test project equals to chromium so if i go back here and here had it and then dash project and project is equals to chromium so this is equal to chromium so let me see the spelling c c h r o c h r o m i m i u m so m i u m so now what this command will do is that it will execute a test having this title in a headed mode and in the chromium okay so it will execute on only a single browser which is a chromium because we have specified that it should be executed on the chrome browser only so it will open the website and then execute our test here so these are the different ways you can use these commands in order to run your test there is another thing which we which we really need to understand here is that how we can run our test in parallel so paradigm provide us a way to run our test in parallel right now they are executing one after one but we can run them in parallel as well so that's actually very simple here so what i'll do is that uh, instead of running it on a single project here so i will remove this one so instead of using this one i will mention here workers equals to three or workers equals to be more so when we define the workers it will start with that number of workers and you see that it got executed in parallel and it will be very fast in execution so when you have to work with the parallel execution you have to define the workers count here how many workers are required so it depends on the number of execution you want to do and let me show you here if i increase the number of workers here to six and see what happens but here you see that it only have three workers because three workers are more than enough or required for executing on the three different browsers right so even if you have not sure about the number of workers you need you can define n number and it will automatically pick the the required workers for the execution so that's how uh, you can run your test on different ways so before ending or concluding this session just let me go to the slide here and here is here you can see and we can recall 
all these commands here you can also take the screenshot of this one for the feature reference so if you want to run all the test simply np explain right test if you want to run a single test np explain right test and you need to specify the name of the test and these all executions are basically on the command line and you will not see a physical browser here okay then running a test on a set of files you need to provide test one test two test three and so on and if you want to run a files containing specific words then np explain right test and you need to mention the word and if you want to run a test with a specific title then the command would be np explain right test dash g and then the title of test in double quotes and if you want to run all of these in the harried mode then use double dash had it and if you want to run all these on the basically a different or the specific browser then you have to add dash dash project equals to chromium firefox or webkit so it will execute on that particular project or the browser so you will be using you can use these commands with all of these and similarly if you want to run in parallel define the workers and the count of the workers just like we did here in our previous commands so that's all about running the playwright script in the multiple ways thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial